Hey guys, it's Wes, Not Your Normal Miner here. Today we got a fun one for you. Today we're putting our NVIDIA FE, the Founders Edition RTX 3080, up against our Zotac Trinity RTX 3080. Um, and we're going to be doing this mining Ethereum. That's right, we've got not only one, but two of these next-gen 30 series GPUs side-by-side. -side. We are going to be using Hive OS to control these in our OpenAir GPU mining frame if you guys like these kinds of videos and you're new to the channel please give us a subscription we really cherish that also give us a thumbs up and comment down below let us know were you able to secure one of these next gen gpus do you have a zotac trinity rtx 3080 or do you have that nvidia founders edition rtx 3080 or did you strike out or do you like hive os or you're not a big old fan of it but today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mining ethereum and we are going to be putting these two next gen gpus up against battle side by side let's get into it hey guys it's wes not your normal miner thanks for stopping in let's go for a ride as always, please do your own research. In the description down below, we'll have links to all this stuff so you can check everything out. But like we talked about, we are using Hive OS to control these GPUs. Um, something here is very interesting I want to talk with you about. We do actually have three 3080s set up in this GPU mining rig. Um, we've got one NVIDIA FE Founders Edition 3080 that has some thermal throttling. I do believe that's issues um, due to the thermal pads on this gpu something that we're working to um to resolve here um, but we do have the zotac trinity and another what in my opinion working perfectly fine nvidia fe 3080 those rtx 3080 side by side starting these at 190 power limit with zero memory zero core in the upper right hand corner we're going to have links to some different videos so you can check out our benchmarking i do know the limits that these gpus have as far as memory goes i do also know the sweet spot as far as power limit to these once you get to a certain point on power limit, you really don't get much out of these GPUs. But for starting our our our, our um, battle of the RTX Zotac Trinity, their gaming edition. This is the Zotac Trinity here, the 3080 versus the NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080 over in Hive OS. We're at 190. We are going to take that all the way up to 250, and then up to 270, so you can kind of see. Um, where we're at on that and then once we get back to our sweet spot we will adjust the memory clocks there um, we are not going to adjust anything with the core, core clocks for this battle the reason for that is um, in our test we have not seen um, many uh, many benefits from from doing that there so we've got these adjusted um, like I said, we do have both of these GPUs in an open air GPU mining frame, and that is mining on Hive OS. There are some pretty sweet benefits that I do like of Hive OS. Um, one of those is up in the upper right hand corner, there is a little stopwatch. Every 30 seconds when you are in Hive OS, it is going to automatically refresh there for you. So that is pretty cool. Another thing I like about Hive OS is there is the automatic refresh button. Um, if you're an anti worm like myself, you can go ahead and hit that. So, as we go ahead and bump these up to 210 on the power limit, we start to see the Zotac Trinity has 87.11 mega hash per second. The NVIDIA Founders Edition has 87.14 mega hash per second. So, we will go ahead and jump this, these both up to 230 on the power limit. Does take a few seconds for those overclock settings to kick in. You'll see here um, towards the upper part of our screen that you'll see that those NVIDIA settings are applied. Sometimes you might get a little red X up there and that might say that they didn't apply. Well, might want to restart your miner if you see some different things like that. Another thing I like about Hive OS is we're waiting for those overclock settings to adjust here. There is the remote access and you do have the um, Hive Shell start and that is what you can actually see what miner program that you have running and you can see the stats on it live from the mining rig side you can also stop that so that's something that's pretty pretty neat there so we will go ahead and hit refresh and that what we can see here at 230 
power limit. We've got 87.05 mega hash per second on the Zotac Trinity, and we've got 87.06 mega hash per second on the NVIDIA Founders Edition. And these are the RTX 3080s. So let's go ahead and bump these up to 250 watts. These were the first two 30 series GPUs that we were actually able to secure and get on hand. When I say on hand, we had all sorts of issues trying to get these GPUs. Um, we could not secure any on release date. We've not been able to secure any next gen GPUs, AMD or NVIDIA on release date um, online. So we did all sorts of shenanigans through eBay. We had a couple orders that actually got canceled. Somebody tried to scam us, all sorts of fun shenanigans. But we do have a Zotac Trinity, the RTX 3080, up against the NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080. And we are over in Hive OS, and we are mining Ethereum. So as we let that settle in, and like I said, guys, um, for my testing, I know that there's a sweet spot here for these GPUs, and we'll, we'll get to a spot and we've already passed it where power limit doesn't do anything as far as helping out with the change in our mega hash um, i do feel that as time goes by and these gpus have only been out a little over a month month and a half now i do feel that these gpus will get better drivers and better minor programs that'll optimize these things a lot better so as we can see here at 250 we really don't get much more 86.95 mega hash on the zotac trinity 86.97 mega hash per second on that nvidia founders edition that's at 250 watts but just because i know you guys all like to see the tests and you guys don't have your hands on these here's that 270 power limit 230 um, is the sweet spot in my opinion and that's over on hive os um, about 240 on your windows rig is what i found in the upper right hand corner we'll have links to all sorts of other different videos that you guys can see and once again if you're new to the channel this is a good time to hit that subscription bell we really cherish that comment down below let us know what overclock settings you found have been very successful with your 30 series gpus also comment down below let me know where you're you're buying these at are you still trying to get them online are you guys waiting in stores so we've let that go for a little bit hive os that refresh ticker is just about to kick in and once that kicks in we see once again that once we got to that 230 power limit, um, these GPUs didn't really respond much more to that power. So we're going to go back to 230. Now, we talked about core overclock settings on these 30 series, these 3080s that we have in our hands. I don't get much more as far as a mega hash per second on them, but I do get differences when we adjust our uh, memory. So we're going to go up by 500 just to make this quick. I do know the maximum that both of these will be able to handle without crashing. And these are soft crashes. These aren't hard crashes, but I want stability. Stability means rigs are up. When rigs are up, you're finding shares. When you're finding shares, you're putting coins in the bag. That's what we're here to do today. And all these comments that you guys put in our videos, we do read all these. We do take them to heart. I do want to thank Vitalian Lick My Booterin um, for your last comments. Um, I've been taking that stuff to heart. Hopefully this video is a little bit better for you. So everything just reset. We're back at 230 power limit. The Zotac Trinity is 87.06. The NVIDIA Founders Edition is at 87.08. We are going to go ahead and put our memory clock at 500. And we'll let these sit. Our other NVIDIA Founders Edition that we've got in here that doesn't hash quite as well, that has the, the thermal throttle. Uh, we've got a lot of other crypto YouTubers have been seeing these issues with their GPUs, Red Panda Mining, um, Serpent X Special Forces has been seeing it as well. Comment down below, let me know what issues you've seen. Um, have you been turning these in for RMAs if you have been seeing issues? Um, we are waiting on some thermal pads to come in so we can see adjust those. A lot of people have been hitting us up in Discord talking with us about that we really appreciate all your guys's help the community's great so our time clock is getting ready to switch over here on hive os and boom just like that at 230 power limit and at memory of 500 our zotac trinity is at 89.63 mega hash per second 
and our NVIDIA Founders Edition, that RTX 3080, that is sitting at 89.67 mega hash per second. Once again, we are using Hive OS in the description down below. We got links to that so you guys can see. Um, but we're having a lot of fun showing you guys these overclocks. Now that these have set in, let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit more. We are going to go ahead and bump these up to 1000 on our memory. But we have seen other people in the community, other gamers and such, that have had issues with these RTX 30 series GPUs as far as that thermal throttle goes. As soon as they hit temperature, they, 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 they dial back. Um, we first turned our bad NVIDIA FE Founders Edition on live stream so you guys could see that, and it failed miserably. It kept crashing the rig, couldn't figure out what it was doing. So now that Hive OS has refreshed here for us at 230 power limit, 1000 on your memory, we get 92.24 mega hash per second from our Zotac Trinity. We're getting 92.27 mega hash per second from our NVIDIA Founders Edition. This is a pretty good battle here so far, but as we get a little bit higher with our memory overclocks, we will start to see one of these GPUs overshine. You guys got to remember one thing, though. There is the silicone lottery as well that has a lot of effects. So just because you get these GPUs does not mean they're going to hash like this. Let's go ahead and bump the memory up to 1500 on both of these. Some people might be asking, hey, Wes, why aren't you RMAing your bad NVIDIA FE? Why not screw with it? Well, we got all of our GPUs secondhand, brand new in box, still sealed. We got them within um, 11 days of actual release date. NVIDIA does not allow secondhand RMAs. That's right. So if you've bought these secondhand from NVIDIA, the the uh, warranty does not transfer. So that's one of the main reasons why we'll never buy another NVIDIA product. Um, but as this gets ready to reset here, we are putting up a Zotac Trinity RTX 3080 against NVIDIA. Uh, Founders Edition RTX 3080 and Hive OS. We're mining Ethereum and we're showing you the differences here. We did find that that 230 power limit um, is the maximum. One thing I want to show you here, this is very interesting. Earlier you could see at that 1000 memory, things were great as far as that Zotac Trinity, but at 1500 it backs down to 88.55. Give me just a minute. At 1500 memory and 230 on the power limit, that NVIDIA Founders Edition is at 94.8 mega hash per second. As we discussed earlier, we do know the maximum power limit and the maximum memory that these will take without soft crashing because we want these rigs to be stable so we are going to change the overclocks to for the nvidia founders edition we're going to put that power limit to 30 and then we're going to have the memory of 2000 one of the things i found with the nvidia fe is it does give you better memory on your overclocks as far as your temperatures go this gpu is going to run a lot hotter even though it's supposed to have a better cooling design as far as the zotac trinity goes this model i could only give the maximum of 1800 memory without those soft crashes but this model does run much much cooler with those three fan models and those once again is in our remote garden location where we do have gpu and asic mining rigs running so we are back over here to Hive OS that did just kick back in and now that we're at 230 power limit 1800 memory on that Zotac Trinity it's back up to 96.12 mega hash per second that is the maximum that I'm able to get this GPU to hash at is around 96.x mega hash per second 230 on the power limit 2000 on the memory for that Nvidia FE I'm getting 97.33 mega hash per second but that one can get a little bit more. I do want to send a thank you to um, Done One Too Many Two over from the Brandon Coin Discord for helping us get maximum efficiency and maximum mega hash per second out of this NVIDIA Founders Edition. I really appreciate your help with that. As always, guys, in the description down below, we got links to all these great places so you can go and chat with these people. Um, but in the upper right hand corner, we, we've shown you some links to some videos on how we figured out what the maximum memory was for these with our benchmarking. So Hive OS just clicked around here. We'll go ahead and refresh this one more time. And the maximum that we're able to get from these GPUs, and we've got them in our open air GPU mining 
um, rig. We are using Hive OS. We've got a Zotac Trinity RTX 3080, the NVIDIA FE RTX 3080. These are battling each other. 230 power limit, 1800 on the memory. The Zotac Trinity is going to get 96.13 mega hash per second. At 230 on the power limit, 2200 on the memory, the, the NVIDIA FE is getting 98.35 mega hash per second. We've had these testing in um, our gaming, streaming, editing rigs, just like you guys have those rigs on Windows. We've run them also on Hive OS um, on Linux as well. So, wrapping this up, we've been battling out the Zotac Trinity versus an NVIDIA Founders Edition, those RTX 3080s over on Hive OS. Been showing you what the best we've been able to squeak out these. If you did like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Let us know what those overclock settings are. Let us know what your hash rates are. We really appreciate it. Um, we, we're really excited to be part of this community. You guys are great. My name's Wes. Not your normal miner. Thank you.